guys, welcome back to Predatory Fins. Today's our last day here before we go into a trip to Asia. We're gonna go to uh, Thailand and we're gonna go to China to meet some suppliers, to see some products that we're looking for. But before we go, I wanna take you guys around the shop and show you everything that we have in stock, but also show you some of the fish that came in uh, from last video. So these stingrays are doing amazing. They're already eating. And what I did here as well, I moved some of the the hybrid bass into this tank, mainly because um, they get so much food and they're not allowing the tiger fish to eat. That guy is literally huge. It's got to be close to like 32, 34 inches. This arapaima here grew so much more than the other ones. Like if you look at comparison, they're all the same size. And this girl, she's a beast. So all the fish are doing great. I got a lot of comments like, oh, why you leave the water low? The reason being, so we're not wasting water. There's not that many fish here. This tank is just temporary. They're, we're waiting to set up, put background and make it look super nice for the exhibit. So instead of filling up all the way and every time having to drain all that water, we just leave halfway. It's plenty of water, plenty of space for these guys. And it saves a lot on water because otherwise we're just gonna be wasting all that water. Right, so that's the reason why we do it. Here we have the golden gooch. And the big boy in the back is gonna come up here too. And then I left just a tiger fish by himself so he can get all the food that he needs to grow. I want him to be like 24 inches before we can even open the shop. But let's take a look around. Today was a crazy day. Yesterday was a crazy day. We had to pack all the orders to get everybody ready now all the new fish that came in from brazil they're doing great the pacus uh i still have one of the rosemaries hiding back there but the green folk has looked amazing let's take a look here hey jai what's going on we got to do a stock video what's up boss really yeah. we gotta go tonight so so uh yeah so that's why we're doing a stock video Boss, well, so are you, are you sad that he's leaving? Yeah, I'm going to be really sad. Why are you lying? <laughs> so what are these, cross rivers? Yep. Yeah. So we'll order a male and a female? Yeah. Oh, sorry, boss. <laughs> and dude, can you do a better price on, on, uh, on Rocky, dude? On Rocky? Well, maybe Sylvester Stallone might want it. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Well, maybe he'll beat us up for calling him Rocky. Um... This big guy right here, we're gonna. Ooh, you saw that? He tried to attack my hand. What a beast. That was nice, boy. The little ones for sale, super yellow. I love how their colors come in, because there's different grades. Some of them are less yellow, some of them are less white, but the ones that we tried to get are the super yellow ones. So, like, you can see the colors never changed since they came in. Um, we're keeping donut, right? That's the plan so far. All right, and what about that one? That one's still available? Yeah, that one's available. Okay. Black Diamond's not many left. Are you keeping these or what's the I'm deal? keeping this one and that one's available. So the back one, that one is available. Okay, it's coming over. Let's take its food. Come on, here we go. We're gonna lure him over here, see? Look at that. Nicely drained. Really nice spots too, though. Yeah, no, it's a very nice one. So we sold a lot of rays in the past few days, We, so. we cleared out quite a bit. Um, okay. If anyone's interested in a, a little fly river, it so had a little um, damage on the back. We medicated her. So she's doing good. She's eating like crazy. No, yeah, she's doing great. The white part of that shows that it's healing up. So that's the skin growing back inwards. So he's doing great. Okay, we can do a great deal on that one. Yeah, just to empty that tank. Okay, why don't you go in front of me and show me everything that we got. Okay. Um, I think we showed these last time already. The chameleon laricardi. Right, the big ones and smaller ones. Okay. Up here, we've got the select grade albino silver arowanas. You see the fins have really nice red on them and they're very responsive. They've actually almost doubled in size since we got them. They're eating viper bites. Pretty much anything you can throw in there. What do you think of these? These are pretty cool. Uh, these are the, uh, exan not exantic, but the silver monos. Yeah, they, right? call, they call them xantic over there. Yeah, so they're very silverish in color. Uh, compared to the regular monos, which are going to be more golden in color. 
And what about that catfish over there? I don't think we showed them last time. Okay, yes. This is the uh, Cynodontis pardalis. It's known as the leopard Cynodontis. It's a rare, uh, not seen very often Cynodontis that comes out of Africa. And uh, I think the fish speaks for itself, right? Looks nice, cool. clean spots. Yeah, we got a few with separated throughout. So if you buy one, don't buy two because they might nip at each other. Well, well when they came in, we put them together. We saw them nipping at each other. Um, so just to be I safe. I didn't want to risk. Normally, I would wait. If it was a cheaper fish, I would wait and see, let, let, let them work out their issues. But maybe because they were hungry and they were going at each other. But I separated them just to be safe. What do you think we're going to be able to get more of these guys? Uh, we'll see when that we go one. to Asia. That one in the middle looks pretty cool with the black markings. Yeah. All right, so this is it, guys. You That's see one that you like. This is the last of it. Fogos. Okay, Fogos. It's been a while since we got Fogos in. And they're already eating pellets. I threw in pellets and they went for it this morning. Really? Yeah. All fat and healthy. Yeah. There's another Cynodontus right there. Oh yeah. I'm trying to zoom in. So this is a new camera. I hope you guys enjoy it. It actually shoots in 4K. So we're learning how to use it. There you go. Okay. What about Aeropimus? Yeah, some six inch Aeropimus, six, six and a half inch. All right, they're doing pretty good. Okay, now over here, this stuff is not on the website. Yet. Every time I show this tank, I don't even know what I'm showing. So why don't you- I don't you... even remember the names either. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm growing out these rainbow fish. Because rainbow fish usually come in like really, really tiny and um, to me, it's tough to sell a fish like that for a high value and people can't even, people can't even see what they're getting, right? So there's two types in here. Um, one's a Parkinsoni, and I don't remember the other one, but they're supposed to have like these amazing red stripes and beautiful. So they've already put on quite some size. So once they start showing some color, I'll put them up for sale. But if you guys at home know what it is and you're saying, hey, no, I want it, and so you're willing, you, you, know, you don't want to wait for me to grow it, then just let me know. So these are more like a little higher rare? End, okay. Higher end. Uh, what about this little catfish? Okay, those are Cynodontus decorus. Same thing, they came in at half that size. They're growing quite quite well. They're about like an inch and a quarter now. They're not on the website either? No. <laughs> and uh... Wait, wait, those might be, those might be. And the little Corydoras? Those are the Corydoras Adolfoi. Adolfoi? Yes. Don't mistake it with a panda. It's not a panda, it's an Adolfoi. Two completely different species. It's not a panda. It's not a panda. Okay, here. Green eyes, bro. Green eyes. They all look pretty good, right? Yeah, yeah. They came in nice, fat, healthy, mixed sizes. All right, so uh, these bumblebee Oscars. Here we have some more with uh, Tiger Shovel Nose Hybrid. We don't have that many of them. These are not for sale. Nope, those are not for sale. I mean, that one, I, I, I'm okay to let go. If really? anybody's interested in that. I think fish. it's pretty cool. Yeah, no, nice. Okay. Only a few little fajacas left. So now that we only have a few, I put them back into their cages so that they don't attack each other. Right. Uh, Spotted conga puffers. Yeah, they're moving pretty nicely. I think we've unloaded like almost half of them already. Fat boys over here. Do you think this is one of the everyone's favorites, the rope fish? Yeah, the rope fish. I mean, it's a good seller. It's a, it's classic. I mean, it's not expensive, and it's interesting animal. Those have been here for a while. These uh, uni unicolor <laughs> eels. They yeah. put on some size. You want to tell them the story again? Yeah, I bought them as a melanistic unicorn eel, so I thought it was going to be. Oh yeah, sorry. There's two parts of the story. I saw them on the list, and it said uh, melanistic. A unicorn eel and I thought it was the the a the, the exantic I thought it was the all yellow one and I ordered it and it came in and then I realized I was wrong and I looked back and I said oh it's melanistic but then it wasn't even true melanistic because it wasn't all black <laughs> so it was just a normal unicolor eel so they've been here but doing great but you see I, I was kind of convincing myself that it was gonna be a melanistic because you see the whole body's black and it's got that trim a that white, white trim yeah yeah. But I think they all look like that though. Yeah. Who knows? Alright, beautiful fish regardless. But we did pay a lot of money for them. Yeah. Alright, all the air primates are doing good? Yep. Eating well. 
taking the, the mini monster gobies very nicely, taking dry pellets as well. Okay. Here we have a couple more of these. These are the L233. I know the name now. L233. Yeah, Hypostomus maculatus. And from the last video, we did find a buyer who was interested and he took like four pieces. So it's a rare find. And then these are the giant red tail garamis, but some of these are kind of like high bodied ones where you see their body is more square shaped uh, versus elongated. All right. So these are on the website as well. Some silvers? Yeah, these are some silver arowanas. Um, kind of like, honestly, it's the leftover stuff. You see, if you look carefully, some of them have like tattered fins. Um, I, I think I have it on the website as damaged fins. So if anyone wants a good deal on them, go check out the pricing and, there. And the fins will heal back. It's just, there are yeah. so many in the tank. They'll, they'll close up, but some of them, the, the hard bone is a little bit like kind of crooked. The webbing will grow back, but if you're looking for like perfect, perfect straight fins, it, it won't get that. Oh, I see it. Yeah. But they're still good. Yeah. All right. These are for sale or are we keeping these? Uh, we've been selling the small ones. I've been uh, um, holding the big ones so that I'm going to spread it throughout the, the shop. We're so, almost out of silver arowanas. This batch was a really nice batch. And we did this just because you want to separate them just because you wanted them to clean the tanks for us. Yes, correct. Correct. All right. Flag tails. Yep. And fest, 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 fest festivals. Bones. Yeah. Or flag right. cichlids, I think they're called. And then we have some vampire fleco. And this is the what? This is the decorus. Synodontus decorus. You sure? Yes. Oh, wait, no, sorry. Sorry, not decorus. Richardi. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Decorus is the, the spotted one, right? Yeah, the black and white one. So we got briefly interrupted because Rod had to take a phone call. So I'm just gonna walk through a couple of tanks with you before he gets back. We've got smaller giant red tail garamis here. And uh, right here is one Tiger Curare Severum left. We still have a little bit of um, the red and white parrots and some of the normal red parrots. Anyone looking for bigger size parrots, we have these larger about six and a half inch uh, yun bao red parrots if you guys are interested in the albino redhead tapajos we're almost out if you guys remember this whole tank used to be loaded this is the last of it maybe another 20 pieces left right here boy what are you doing oh i thought we were done okay so always here catching some monos so that's how you do it you scoop the whole thing and you look for the right size? Right. Okay. All right, so we'll let her be. We've got some smaller Atlantic tarpon. Let me zoom in here. So you guys get a better look at them. They're about, I would say, two, ranging from two to two and a half inches. Well, because you can get little monsters like that and just grow them big, like with the, imagine growing the tarpon with the blue MR. You know, they're on the same size. These are the orange leperinus? Yeah, these are the orange leperinus. Only a few left. Okay. I think. Oh, the, what about these guys? Okay. I noticed I noticed something. Well, that one's different. Right there, Fajai. What do you think? Oh, the one in the back there, you see? Body yeah, shape. Yeah, the body markings, shape is different. Yes. Everything. So th I think that one might be just the, the normal uh, tiger um, silver dollar. This this type I'm not sure about. Well, I looked it up. It said zebra pock, zebra mm -hmm. paku parrot or zebra yeah. parrot paku. Well, I haven't had a chance to put them on the website yet. So, so guys, if you want some rare silver dollars, it's a group of uh, seven plus a different one in there. Did you show these guys already? Oh no, not yet. You put them up as the the unicorn catfish. Unicorn catfish, and these. These look cool when they're swimming from the top, yeah. right? You can see them better from that corner. They're not as all piled up. Yeah, there's one right there. Two. Okay. So this is regular monos, wild caught monos. Right here, this is what I was talking about, the blue MRs. Super cool fish. And they get really big, nice, and blue through their body. 
Okay. Here, these are sold or we still got? No, they're available. These are the African uh, leaf fish. And then one, only one synodontist, uh, not synodontist. Um, sex fasciatus? Yeah, sex fasciatus left. Albino clowns. This looks like a good batch. Yeah, they're doing well. What about this? Uh, I forgot what these were. This was a, a pair Car? of Acaras, yes. A yellow, a zebra, a Cara or something. Is it on the website? No, not yet. Guys, if you want this pair, let me know. We'll do a deal and, and empty out the tank. We did so quite a these, huh? Quite a few of these. Yeah, I think after the last couple of videos that we made, people starting to actually see the beauty of it and the appeal of it. And then uh, we sold a few, and then customers came back and said, oh my God, they're nicer than I expected, and then they ordered more. So they're starting to go now, after okay. a year and a half. <laughs> after a year and a half of growing them. Giraffe nose cats, Garamis, Platinum, Albino, what are these? Red, red cheek. cheeks? Yeah, red cheek. Uh, Do they get big? Yeah, they get a de decent size. I think it's a really pretty fish. So here we got some whales and clown knife. I'm uh -oh, going to show I these. I spotted something. One with double row. <laughs> double row. I, 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 once you show that fish, I know who's going to call me. Who? Oh. <laughs> Justin. Uh, what about these guys? Uh, the, the spotted dumbbells, yes. Really pretty fish, too. Yeah. And then we have four of the blue eye panakis. Okay. This guy here is like sucking on it. This Piriba is almost ready to go. I know, but we should keep him, though. We brought him back from the dead. Okay, Black Widow Frontosas. We got it. We have these guys for a while too. Yeah, these have been here for a while as well. So Black Widow Frontosas, where are these? Uh, Inurita Severums. Okay. Pinktail Chalcius. Okay. And Zebrina. Uh, Zebrina, yeah, like three, four left. Now, I really like this camera, but you know what I don't like about it? You can the see like dot. the red dot. Yes, I saw it in the video. Yeah? Maybe we should find a way to cover it like this. Put a piece of tape on it. Here we have the Marble car, Tiger Shovel Nose Hybrids. And are we keeping this short body or are we selling it? Uh, I haven't, I, I, I think we can sell it. Yeah, it's yeah. nice though. Yeah. Okay, so put it on the website. Couple of the... Pandas. Panda URU. Not that many left. Uh, here, these are we keeping as well, right? Grow yeah, now. yeah. Keeping these. these are the panda masseers mm -hmm. or Hampala. What do you think it is? I don't know, <laughs> but they're doing good. But the these these other masseers are, are the red masseers. Yeah, these are the red masseers. Wow, look at that pair. Yeah, these like grow out. Wow, oh, look, look at, at that. that. Nuts. Oh, they're I put breeding. them together and look, they dropped eggs. That's why they're doing it. Oh, they dropped eggs. So is that the male or the female? Why the male? No Probably. This looks like a female. Yeah. This flop one is like... I know. I'm surprised colors. it's still here. That's okay. These things, as they grow, they get nicer and their value goes more. <laughs> so if you didn't buy it before, it's your loss. The sooner you buy it, the better for you. And these are the red dragons? Yes, these are the red dragons. That, that's pretty much all that's left of the red dragons. A couple of nicer ones here. You see they have like the webbing on the face. Yeah. Okay, what about these? Chinese? Um, Chinese algae eaters. Algae eaters. Albino Chinese algae eaters. Oh, golden, sorry, golden. We're growing these guys? Yeah, I'm growing those. Okay. All right. So, right we'll anyways, we'll I'm go gonna through. leave you guys now because I have boxes sitting there. So okay. I think you can finish this row, right? right and I'll, I'll see you it. guys in Asia. Hey, we gotta do lots of lives over there, bro. Yes. But yo, we gotta make her happy before we leave, dude. She, she looks pissed off. We gotta make her happy. We'll be fine. She'll be fine. <laughs> All right, we have one Azu left before we can get more in. These are the red humphead geos. We have three at like four inches. Uh, red shoulder severum. These guys are really nice. These are hybrid peacock bass. They're being quarantined right now. But I'll put a video on the screen for you guys to see what they will look like when they get big. 
super nice fish. Orinocos. Some Thunderline Royals. Gobi, Asian Gobies, the Blue Boat here. So the Blue Boat here, we have a lot of them and we have a deal going on with them right now. I think you can get three of them this size for less than a hundred bucks. So if you guys want them, super cool fish too. They school together, really pretty. Hey, what's your favorites of these big ones? Yeah. Abalios or? They're supposed to be Surinamensis, but I'm not 100% convinced. They, they have a little bit too much yellow marking there. So, I don't know. They might be the Abalios. Might have to call Sean then. <laughs> the geo expert. Because they, they're a little bit high body. I remember Surinamensis, their body being a little bit more Long. Yeah, that's like, the big boy here. It could be. This one to me looks like the Cernimenses. Yeah. It, it's some, sometimes yeah, you see it's how so this close. one has the, have black markings going up and down? Yeah. I, I don't know. I guess though they stress, they change colors, it's hard to tell. But then also these are wild ones where I usually see the captive red ones. So maybe during, after so many generations of breeding, there might be some, some type of change. Okay. We got Tiger Mori here and then we have one pop up like a left some bichers some albinos Chinese perch these guys are doing great big parrot South American parrot these are Vitatus tiger fish they're little they're skinny but they're eating and then we'll send it out the, the fatter ones first. Some baby, uh, I guess baby need readers. And we have, oh, this guy's ready to bite right here, look. These are the hairy puffers. Super cool puffer, but very aggressive. That's why we have to keep them like this, or they will kill each other and every other fish in the tank. Blue Mercier's. And these guys are really cool too. They're always swimming around. You can feed them pellets. They'll pretty much eat anything. We have blue phantoms and green phantoms somewhere. I know the blues are here. I haven't seen the greens yet. But that's about it. We couldn't stock up too much because we were going away. And in Paul's system right now, we have one big jelly, the black wolffish. We actually we had to zip tie them close because they were coming out and, and getting each other. But these guys are super cool. Look how dark he is. Okay, so we got two of those. Empty, empty, we have to load up a lot more. These are the Aymara. Look at that face. Let's see if we can zoom in. True Aymara right there. Those things are super aggressive. I'm surprised how calm and cool they are here. They're not really attacking anything. We have a couple of Aramundis left. The Vampire Shrimp. Some Tiger Bass. Watermelon, Spotted Watermelon. Titan. Big jelly back there, and some of these guys, I bluegill, I think. They came in with a paddlefish, and they just bring growing. One electric keel left, right around 24 inches. 
Steven Sun Eye. It's a rare type of Messiers. Blue Messiers. African Pike. Bumblebee Cats. One more large parrot. These are funny. These are the albino bog rays. And look at the size of that guy compared to the other ones. He just start eating everybody in the tank. Got some of those. Apagon. Couple really big angels. Royal Clown. And more the Earth Eater. I think these are the Earth Eaters. That's it. Oh, albino arrow barbs as well. So a good variety, just not much in stock because we had to leave. And uh, we didn't want to stock up. But I think we skipped this tank. These are wild Labradays from Africa. They just came in recently. Really cool fish. And uh, back there, the fire pikes. Just look dark because they're in a darker bottle tank. But besides that, that's it. So I just wanted to show you guys around everything that we had because we're leaving and we're not gonna be here for a while. But when we do come back, we're gonna load up all these fish and even get more fish. That's one of the reasons why we're going to Asia to meet new suppliers as well. Uh, we're gonna go see our facility that we built in Thailand. And um, man, I can't wait. When we come back, it's gonna be crazy because we have to build the store, have to build the exhibit. It's gonna be a lot of work. Are you, uh, are you looking forward for when we come back already? When we come back? Yeah. Yes and no. Yes, because finally things are moving forward. Once we get back, it's going to be non-stop. We have the last board meeting uh, pretty much the next day or the second day after we're back. Once that goes through... Uh, <laughs> All right. So as I was saying, um, we have that board meeting. Once that goes through, then we're going to have to start the construction um, on the exterior of the building, the parking lot and all that. But also, by the time we get back, the, the uh, 13,000, which now is probably 15,000 or yeah. 18,000 because we ex expanded it. That should be ready uh, to start bringing in and piecing together. So it's gonna be a lot of stuff. You know, we have to clear that, all that stuff out there. Gonna be uh, pretty crazy, but. Oh, and all the shit is a fish. That's all backed up while we're gone. And all the stuff that we're gonna buy while we're out there. That's gonna be crazy. <laughs> so guys, look. We got these two samples today, and um, we think that this one's too light. We like this one, but it's a little too dark. It looks better on camera, actually, but it's a little too dark. I like the blue that we have here when we do the, the stock video. So if we can get that blue, I think it's gonna look nice. But yeah, this one's just a, a touch, a little too dark. Well, we we'll hope you enjoyed. We have so much going on. We even got koi or fish, uh, uh, fish pond, and we haven't even had a chance to put them on the website. The koi are doing great. I still wanna have a video of Ryan picking his white one here. But these guys are awesome. I think my favorite on this whole batch is this guy right here with the orange head. He's got so much color on him. Really cool fish. We want to start putting koi's up on the website, but like, yeah, we were so busy, we couldn't do it. We had so many water changes to do. I had to do water change on the rescue fish. I had to do a water change on the 3,000, on the 800, on the stingrays. It was just a lot, so we can prepare to leave. But I think it's about time. I got to edit this video, so leave it up. Yep. What time are we flying tonight? Midnight. Midnight, and we have no Wi-Fi for 17 hours, so. 
I'm gonna have to talk to Fiji for 17 hours straight, and Fiji is not a big talker, so I don't no, know. I what downloaded I'm do. all my Netflix movies already. You did? I, I'll, I'll give you one, one head, head earbud. Okay. <laughs> Oi, I'll take care of him for you, okay? But hey, if he if he start bothering me while I'm doing, I'm just gonna. He could have cried. I can't leave him. I don't speak the language. Hey, <laughs> just, I'm not doing your laundry, okay? Who is it? You. I'm not gonna be doing your laundry. Lisa's not gonna be. With I don't you. know how to use the Chinese machines. They they do it by hand. When you shower, you you wash it in the shower while you're soaping yourself uh, up. And you hang it to dry. Come on, man. You you, you right. can't do that. You're not gonna survive in the Amazon either. Oh, the Amazon, I had no underwear there. Okay. <laughs> we'll see you in Thailand, and I hope that you can enjoy this trip with us.